All right, I don't know who needs to hear this. It's not boredom, it's peace. And I know that sounds weird, but when you come from a space of chaotic, unstructured, um, or maybe you were living in fight or flight, or you just weren't in balance with yourself and you were waiting for the shoe to drop, any kind of remote sense of, of disharmony to where it affects how you move on the daily and the, and the, and the decisions that you make and you are 10 steps ahead and looking at everything like chess or checkers and you have to watch your back and you have to be careful what you say, how you say, walking on eggshells, anything like that is what right now spirit is considering chaos. It's instability, it's unstable foundations, and it has a lot of mental and emotional turmoil on the person who has to live in this prolonged state of huh, is what they're saying. And once you bridge out of that, it's okay to be bored. Because your boredom isn't actually boredom, it's peace. And you don't know what to do with it because you've never held that frequency at such a prolonged period without something or someone fucking it up. <laughs> I don't know who needs to hear this, but Spirit has been talking about it this morning. And talking about how a part of the collective is just bridging out of chaos and bridging into, um, I want to say a purposeful pause, a moment of peace. And they're just kind of talking about how when you bridge out of it initially, when you bridge out of the shit that was confining you and you take the strength to pull yourself out and to move forward with more clarity, more haste, more speed, right? You may find yourself, and I do have a masculine energy on my table, but I'm really taking it more as like this unstable fight or flight with this masculine and this logical reasoning rather than a physical masculine energy. It really, they're just talking about the need to kind of slow down and to sit in the frequency and there's nothing wrong. But sometimes you have to recalibrate your energy, recalibrate your brain to realize that there's nothing wrong. It's just you. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing going on. And to kind of learn how to fill your cups again, we got this ace, ace of cups in reverse, learn how to fill your mental and emotional cups again. And they're just talking about doing what you need to during this period of, I don't want to call it stagnation, but just this period of pause is the way that I want to say it. Okay, weren't we just, okay, shut up. We were just calling this reverse pentacles as your unstable, like fight or flight, logical, rational, needing to kind of think our way out of things and being analytical about everything and not, you know, being in that more of a masculine fight or flight, get her done, grind, I need to survive mode. And then we're talking about you need to bridge through some things and, and look at things differently. Your mental and emotional cups need to be filled, right? And allowing yourself after you've escaped right? Escaping what you felt was keeping you trapped in this kind of mental energy. They're talking about when you kind of rebalance these things, this head and this heart, and you find your moment of peace. They literally threw out, they literally threw out the queen of pentacles. It's balancing that masculine feminine energy. And you're kind of switching from a survival mode into a self presence mode. And I want to do this. I want to like say like your inner self presence. And they're just talking about that's what roots you. So as you switch from your survival, go get your masculine energy into your feminine, your peaceful, your creative, your fun loving energy you may get boring because there's not a whole lot of shit going on. And they're just saying that's okay because right now you can fill the space with what truly matters to you. Okay, just further confirmations. Fill the space slowly of what truly matters for you. Of what truly matters for you. We got, we got mental balance and choices. What's important to me? What's not? What do I need? What don't I need? But what's trying to get me and pull me back into a state of chaos or fight or flight? And then the balance between two, two physical energies. Two, the masculine and the feminine inside and bridging the two. We just had literally the king and queen of pentacles. And then here's your balance between the two. And then it's just talking about the slow and steady to get out of everything. You are in the middle of recalibration. You are in the middle of, of change. You are in the middle of settling and leveling out your energies. And I want to grab the sunshine deck for a second. You are in the middle. You are in the middle of re reassessing your energies. It's okay. We have the ace of pentacles. Your new physical beginning is happening. And even though this lovers is sometimes an outside love with all of this inward revolution, I want to tell you and I want to take it as an inward lovers as that masculine and feminine energy coming back into better balance. And if you are somebody who is 
transitioning out of fight or flight and chaos, it's okay if you feel a little bored at first. Give yourself time to rest and feed your energy in a more positive way. Feed your creativity, you know, feed your excitement, feed your passion, feed your spark. But allow yourself to have some purpose, sorry, burping for confirmation. Allow yourself to have some purposeful structure as it best suits you and your energy. And do not be worried about what it may look like and everybody else around you, where you left or where you're headed. Right now, it's just the present, the present moment. So I don't know who needs to hear this, but it's okay if when you're transitioning, when the same card's out again, the devil, it's okay if when you're transitioning, you have a little bit of this eh, period. It's your, it's your physical body and your neurons and your emotional well-being recalibrating. Give it time to do the reset. Give it time to do the letdown and you'll be better for it. If you rush through the letdown, it'll never complete properly. And you will be stuck in a tug of war you don't want to be in. Give yourself the time you need to recalibrate, recoup, and support yourself in every way possible right now. It may feel as though you might be doing a little bit of a backslide. It's okay. You may be feeling like you're looking or searching for something. Just sit with it. It's okay because it doesn't need to be filled immediately. That's that's the past pulling you back. That's your That's your trauma response. That's your... Whatever, that's your anxiety, that's your that's your notion that everything needs to be filled right this second because otherwise something bad's going to happen. Just let that go. It's okay to have holes and spaces that aren't directly shoved with something. You can have a little bit of a gap in something. Just sit with it. There's just the need to tell you that your boredom may not be boredom and your boredom may be part of your letdown for recalibration to be, I don't want to say to rise back up because that sounds kind of weird, but they are talking about because it'll further elevate you later on because you're, you're in a more wholesome balance between your masculine and your feminine energies. Bye B. We're going to go live soon. Me and Keys, we're going dual and we got some really cool stuff we're launching. So see us there.